Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have this beautiful kit called Home by Crafts by Towie. I'm obsessed with these colors. It's in gold foil and the grays, blues, purples, greens. It is so stunning. I would have never thought to put these colors together and I've never seen a kit with these colors and Tao just did an amazing job. So be sure to use Rachel 10 to save with her shop and I hope that you enjoy this video. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon Told you that I loved you one more time, one more time, one more time. I should have told you that I loved you one more time, one more time, one more time. I should have told you that I loved you every night. All oh, that's on my mind. I should have told you that I loved you one more time, one more time. Would you have stayed if I had been honest with you from the start? Don't say it's okay if I'm falling and you're running away You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon, like that never song. I should've told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should've told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should've told you that I loved you every night All oh, that's on my mind In the sidebar, I did use a deco piece from the kit and the January script is from the Glitter Mama. I like the flexibility of the TSKP planner because it does come with January writing or like month writing, but I do like switching it up every once in a while, especially if a kit has deco. It's a lot of fun to use in the sidebar. I used the date squares from Sadie stickers. The confetti overlay for the header is from station stickers in the sidebar. And then I also used a divider at the bottom of the sidebar from Jackson Pepper. All of the scallop headers above the second and third row full boxes are from Simply Beautiful Plans. I think she's a Canadian shop. She ships fairly quickly in my opinion and her quality is really nice. So on Monday, I just marked work. I switched between two different colorways for my confetti flags from Clever Gal Crafts. It's super satisfying whenever I can find colors that match a kit I'm using. It's just like, I feel so accomplished. <laughs> so at the bottom here, I'm just playing around with the spacing first. And that is a snowflake from Crafts by Towie, I believe. And I wanted to mark that I did some physical therapy and I got like, I iced my neck and everything because it was in a lot of pain. And then I also wanted to mark that I started watching or I finished watching this show really quickly. Greg and I got into it and it's called The Stranger. I know I missed a whole word, but it is so good. If you like thrillers and like investigative 
like things like that. It's super, super good. Highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. We finished it really quickly. And it's funny because <laughs> I was watching the preview with him. I'm like, is this something we, we could get into? And then we played it. And then as soon as we started playing like the show, I was thinking, wow, they really get straight to the point, which I'm not mad about because I really do love when shows and movies do that. But every episode was so good. Like at the beginning of every episode, it was like something crazy happening. And then they took the entire episode to explain it. And they didn't take a long time to explain it. And then at the end, it would leave you with like a cliffhanger. And I was just at the edge of my seat and trying to figure it out too. And I'm pretty good at stuff like this, like figuring out stuff. And I was like, okay, I know what's going to happen eventually at some point, but it was so good. And they, I just really like it. Highly recommend you just check it out yourself. If you enjoy it, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Or if you've watched it, let me know. <laughs> so I'm not going to go over um, the rest of Monday. So just let me know if you have questions about stickers. On Tuesday, I made a latte. A lot of the icons came with the kit. If not, I did pull from my own Crafts by Towie collection because I have a ton of her icons and it's only fitting for her spread. So I had training. I used a Pretty Pink Co. Squiggle. A lot of the deco pieces I'm pulling in are from Honey Inked. They're like the leaf pieces. I feel like it was very fitting for this spread. And so it's interesting. And I laugh because before Tao created this kit, she sent me the, like the, the photos and the graphics and the clip art. And she was like, hey, should I make a kit out of this and I literally my response was like if you don't I'm going to cry because <laughs> the eucalyptus the colors are just so amazing and beautiful and she did an amazing job it's so pretty and she knew I was gonna say yes I think she was just like trying to, <laughs> to like pick on me but I was like it's so pretty I love it and the eucalyptus that's me written all over it so I wanted to also mark that I did a YouTube binge on Tuesday. I set up my half letter, so that was a lot of fun. I used one of the prettiest frame boxes that came with the kit and a cloud planner. Um, I know it's not like a cloud planner that I was setting up, but eh, it works. On Wednesday, I talked to Tay, and then I love using the eucalyptus as like a divider, and then I layered a another divider from Bloom Paper Studio over it, and I thought that looked really pretty and added some foil to it. I marked filming a haul, so I felt like this was kind of cute. The film script is from Magic Prince Co. And the mailer is from Crafts by Towie. So really love this. I I can't tell you enough how gorgeous the green looks on top of like the blues, grays, and purples. It just looks amazing. So I used a mini half starburst here from Honey Ink to mark that we grabbed Poke and Boba and a, a snowflake from her shop as well. This is a Bow Basics divider from Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesdays, some of my favorite dividers ever. That is a snowflake at the bottom of Wednesday from Sweet Bella XOXO. I just really like them and I like that they're on white premium matte paper. So now on to, oh, the sidebar. <laughs> I forgot that I did this. So I did want to use these, like, what are these? These heart fairy lights or fairy banner lights from The Given Girl. And I'm going to take down those like uh, dot thingies. I don't know what to call them, but I will take those down later. And at the end, you'll see the whole the whole sidebar complete. I did put down the lantern deco piece that came with the kit as well because I felt like the sidebar was kind of plain compared to the rest of the spread. So I always struggle with like the second half of the spread. It might not seem like it, but I always hoard and hold on to the deco pieces until like I feel like I can start using them be be like throughout the spread. I hope this makes sense. I'm trying to like explain it, but my brain is working faster than, okay. <laughs> so I hold on to certain pieces, like certain deco elements because I want to use them throughout the spread and make it like even. And then I always end up thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not going to like have enough. So I got to hold on to them until like I want to mark something special. And then come Sunday and or Saturday and Sunday and I have like all of the pieces and then like I just explode floral all over Saturday and Sunday. So <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it turned out really pretty and I was just trying to like spread the love and balance it out. But you know, I can do what I can only do. And I was just like, this is what you get, Rachel, for folding your planner in half because I feel like my first half of the week was a lot more white spacey and not busy. And then the second half was like, boom, like everything went everywhere. But I, I think it still turned out really pretty. So on Thursday, I marked snow. I loved cutting up the deco piece horizontally and kind of putting it behind the box there. And then I also used a snowflake cluster. Yeah, that's from Honey Inked. I marked training. I used a Sweet Bella XO divider. I used a quarter box from Panabird Design. This was like the only day I didn't bring lunch to work. 
I always bring lunch to work. Like that is something I'm very big on. Sometimes I'll even get like frozen meals from the grocery store as well, just because I would rather like spend that than go out because I don't have a long lunch lunch break anyway. And I don't want to spend the money. So <laughs> um, yeah, that was probably too much. Like you didn't care to know that. It's fine. Uh, I also use a rectangular bowstrung box from The Giving Girl to mark that I watered my plants. I used a watering can from White Deer Stationery and some more snowflake clusters. So I wish I went back to like the first half and used more snowflake clusters because I feel like my second half was like a lot of snowflake clusters. <laughs> and here I'm going to switch out this fancy box later with the one with the floral piece because I had extra things to use and I felt like this was kind of missing something on like the first row. So I used a bow paper clip that came with the kit and then I trimmed down the pretty pink goat pretty pink co-divider and then now I'm using some deco pieces from Honey Inked and some of those stars are from Tasseled Planner who unfortunately is no longer open and I think that other tiny star is from The Given Girl. So I don't know what I'm marking here because I'm too lazy to get my planner but oh yeah I remember. So I did the um, Instagram assumptions thing and it's funny because I felt like I didn't have a choice too because Tay was like telling me to do it and you know you got to have a best, you got to have a happy best friend. So <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. So I didn't like the way I wrote assumptions. So I wrote it over a white piece of the kit and I cut it out and like stuck it on top of the whiteout. I learned that from Sherry of Planning Peep just because I hate writing over whiteout sometimes and it just depends on the pen that I have. And I've looked at previous spreads and whenever like the planner's closed, it smudges and just it, it isn't cute. And I want my spreads to last long, you know, like I want them to be able to look back at. So we grabbed Chinese takeout. That is an icon from Crafts by Towie. I am obsessed with the cold noodles at this Chinese place by my house. It is so good. I love their cold noodles. They're amazing. <laughs> That's pretty much what we always get there because it's just like the best thing ever. And then I cut up a eucalyptus horizontally as well. And then I did the same thing at the beginning of the week where I layered a bloom paper studio flourish over that. And here I I adore these larger like TV consoles from Crafts by Towie. Tao was asking if I should, if she should make like a smaller size. I like both, honestly, because I feel like if you're watching a show that's like a one word title, you can write in there, especially if it takes up a lot of your time. And I just thought that was really cute. I also tucked more of the heart like fairy lights behind that from The Giving Girl. I thought that was really pretty. So on Saturday, I used a to-do arrow layered over a long flag and a editing icon from Crafts by Towie to mark that I just did so much editing on Saturday. I have a tendency to do that on Saturdays in general, just my weekend consists of <laughs> a lot of filming, editing, and stuff like that. It's just so time consuming, but it's interesting because right now it's Monday night and I came home, I sat on my computer, I edited this entire video because I had all the footage already and I'm trying to pump out the video like and do the voiceover ASAP. So hopefully I can get this up by later tonight. And I don't usually do this on weekdays, but I'm just really like motivated right now. So I'm going to run with it. And so on Saturday, uh, oh yeah, I was going to say I got my car wash, but <laughs> uh, Greg was super kind and he took my car to the car wash because it was looking real rough. I have a white car and with snow, it's just, it's not, it's not cute. So he went and did that for me. And then I used a Sweet Bell XO divider. I worked out and then I loved using this huge deco piece that came with a kit to mark plans change with Tay. And I used a heart bowstrung heart, a heart strung, heart strung, bowstrung heart, whatever. Listen, you guys know what I mean. A bowstrung heart from the giving girl. Yeah. Try saying that 20 times real fast. Okay. And then I used the other eucalyptus that I cut under the quarter box. So it looked like I had some like deco elements peeping out. On Sunday, I used a Jackson pepper scallop to uh, just as a background, I guess. And I used this really pretty floral cluster to mark that I hit 6,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you guys so much. I was super happy and excited and it just, it just blows me away how much you guys support me. It means a lot. So I wanted to mark that I just cuddled Jace a lot this morning. I love cuddling him for hours on end if I can, if he allows me to. He is such a teenager. Like he's literally at that age where he's like, mom, stop cuddling me. I don't need to be cuddled. And I'm just like, seriously, like I just want to hold you. Sometimes I'm like, I wish you were like a, like a lap dog. Like, and I say that, but I know like some people that have lap dogs and I have friends that their dogs are like constantly licking them and laying on them and they just can't stand it either. So I 
I don't know. Maybe just like a mix, Jace. You know, it's all I ask for is for you to love me, but <sighs> he he loves me. Lately, he's been really like lovey dovey, which is which is cute. So I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> we grabbed Starbucks and then we went to Michael's, or actually Greg stayed in the car and then I went into Michael's because he hates going into Michael's with me because it's I can stay there forever. And uh, I actually timed it myself and I was pretty efficient. So there's that. Anyways, here are the leftover stickers. Thank you so much for watching this. I love how this turned out and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. I should have told you that I loved you one more time. One more